In part two of Mixed Bag Scottsdale, we're headed back out to Scottsdale National and PXG. All seriousness, no. This time we're catching up with a fantastic stand-up comedian and friend, Nate Bargatze. If you want to know how you get into comedy, that's a pretty good nudge. I made a lot of jokes out there at the Cavs expense. We'll play the toughest par three course in the world in Bad Little Nine. We survived. Yeah, not finished. We survived yeah. the nine holes in the Bad Little Nine. And get around in with an LPGA veteran. What a shot. And in seven years, she's a winner on the LPGA Tour. Last but not least, a little mini golf with one of the funniest um, guys on Instagram. I'm thinking we're going to just jump out of a plane butt naked. I love you too, man. The story that I've heard about the bad little nine is Bob <laughs> Parsons wanted to build a nine hole par three course, but he wanted to make it different. So what did they do? They made it the hardest nine hole par three course anywhere in the world. Safe to say the team of Jackson Kahn Design did that and more with the Bad Little Nine and the other course at Scottsdale National. With a style focused on playability, aesthetics, and detail, their creations make you wish for two things at the end of the day, more game and more daylight. How did that course come about? We'd love to design the hardest par three course in the world, but not just to be hard for hard sake, but to be able to create sort of this kind of real world video game atmosphere where you can present golfers with challenges um, to entice them to play and, and rewards based on uh, the outcome. Yeah, some bogeys are better than others. It was our unlimited creativity that was able to create that venue, so um, kudos to Bob. Um, he really allowed the, Don't you, dare. you know, our design team to do what we felt was best. There are certain people in life who are doing exactly what they were put on this earth to do. Nate Bargatze is one of those people. Global warming, we gotta, you know, we gotta stop it. Or more of it, I don't really know which way we wanna go, but... As a stand-up comedian, he's a regular on The Tonight Show with that. Jimmy Fallon. He's sold out theaters across the country on his latest tour, and his most recent special entitled The Tennessee Kid is considered one of the best stand-up specials on Netflix. On top of all that, Nate is an incredibly good dude and an awesome guy to play around to golf with. I, yeah, I started go, I just started started going crazy, started playing a lot, and uh, just you know, I, I take lessons. Uh, I'm supposed to take a lesson today, actually. So just constantly, just kind of working on the game. Uh, I've really become obsessed. There you go, dude. There you go. I can have it on stage. I can catch myself wondering, and like, cause you say these jokes over and over again. And so then I'll have to tell myself to like, tell the joke like as if I'm there. Cause I'll just, cause I've said it so many times and you can kind of just start floating. And then I'm like thinking about like, what am I gonna eat tonight? Like, what are we doing? I was like, what time we gotta leave? Or I'll be like, I'm a terrible comedian. I'll think that. I'm like, dude, I'm garbage, dude. Like, So far, uh, Nate Bargatze is playing like a pro golfer and the pro golfer is playing like a pro golfer. Uh, Catherine Kirk was exactly what you would picture an Australian golfer to be. Like she was cool, she was funny, she was incredibly good. Yeah. Nate has gotten so dang good at golf that I'm a little embarrassed at my own game. It's good. Ball there, Nate. Good ball. Yeah. Well, you did unbelievable. Like the fact that you can keep score without writing it down means uh -huh. that your score is pretty good. Yeah. I think Cav kept us entertained too. Cav did, a, yeah. Cav did a very good job. He had an orange ball, kept it the whole time because yeah. I noticed it the whole round. Uh, well, when he kept it out of the desert, right? Yeah, yeah. When yeah. He kept it, it's, it's funny when someone plays with an orange ball because uh, if they change it, you really notice that they changed the ball. Because <laughs> then they're, now they're hitting the white one. You're like, oh. Strategy is such a big part of it at that level too is like just knowing where to hit it when to hit it when to go for it when to not go for it so it was very cool to uh get to ride with her and i mean just see her hit i mean everything's just like straight <laughs> thanks that was fun buddy yeah man It's our last night in Scottsdale, and after two full days of golf, believe it or not, I'm ready for more competition. So we're heading to one of the highest rated courses in town. Now all I need is a competitor. While social media nowadays is slammed with accounts dedicated to the funnier side of the game, 
This guy has something no meme or trick shot page does. He relies on, Absolutely, well, but I do Butsy love being Butsy. I love you too, man. He's got a personality and a name you'll never forget. Ladies and gentlemen, our next guest is truly one of a kind. Right here. So these dudes wanted to film me and we're gonna play putt putt, blow golf, glow golf, something like that. And uh, we're gonna have a good time. They don't serve beer. You can't bring your own in either, right? I have a cooler outside. <laughs> All right. No worries, I'm just kidding. Thanks for the bracelet. Yeah. <laughs> You've got over 50,000 followers on Instagram, but for somebody who hasn't seen your page, what are they in for when they watch Butsy? Man, uh, I think they're gonna, I think they're gonna find a dude that's that's literally off the cuff, that loves golf more than than anything in his life. Several ex-girlfriends would would attest to that, um, and, and just no filter. I get really intense. Like it doesn't matter what I'm doing. We'd be playing cards right now at my grandma's house, and I'd like to slap her if she won a hand. It's like a world no. You're not supposed to do that. That's why you bring your own putter to the pop up place. I don't care what anybody says, I don't care what Putsy says. Bring your own putter, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes, sir. You know. Come on, hit it. Roar like a hungry lion on each stroke. It's even better, baby. I don't even know what that sounds like. Are you ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> I Did you hear me when I was like, probably ah! happy. <laughs> God, I just remember. I can't even, I can't even say I'm having such a great time. <laughs> because of that. Oh, what a night. <laughs> Scott Dill, you ain't too bad. Do you want to make more birdies? Do you want to hit more fairways? Do you want to be the envy of your foursome? Subscribe to this show. It's been statistically proven that those things happen more to subscribers. I think.